name is James Gray. I'm an actor, dancer, choreographer, writer, teacher, director, an all-round theatrician. And part of what makes my work happen is wondering what the hell it's all about. Now, popular culture, by definition, is variable. That means today's iPhones and tablets and iPads and God knows what else will be tomorrow's space invaders, forgotten and quaint little relics of the past. But meanwhile, television is hanging in there. It's dictating our tastes and, and telling us where we should be outraged. And yet when we look more and more at the content, it's getting less and less. Big TV companies now decided, yes, yes, they would have lots and lots of channels because it will, it will broaden our advertising buck. OK, but with lots and lots of channels, you've got to put something on them. And that seems to have been forgotten. Uh, something the other night. What was I looking at? Uh, Alfred Hitchcock's Presents. Fresh from 1955 in glorious black and white. My favourite Martian from 1963. And that's fine if this was a nostalgic channel, but it's not. This is the standard fare. I dream of genie bewitched. For God's sake, this is the 21st century. And now we've got Netflix coming in and uh, 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 other... Uh, uh, what do you call a, a, a streaming channel? That's it, streaming. So now you can pay money to see the same old crap you used to see for free on free-to-air television. And whilst they are uh, uh, making their own content, they don't seem to have learnt too much from uh, other things that have gone before them. We still have all the cliches. Some, some of the writing is just appalling. What's happened to the writers? And so we're dished up with more rubbish and more rubbish. And of course, now it's about cost cutting. We can't afford to do expensive dramas. That takes writers, it takes actors, directors, designers, set dressers. No, 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 that's far too expensive. We're going to reality television, which is unlike any kind of reality you or I will ever experience. I'd love to have three producers following him about to edit my every wrong move all day long. It's a nonsense. Uh, don't forget, we've got the old uh, Kim Kardashian, dear old Kim Kardashian, an ethnic woman who wants to be a, a, a USA white bread Barbie doll. Now, keeping up with the Kardashians, I've seen this program. It's appalling. Absolutely appalling. They're not even bright enough to, to, to fake it. Oh, you stole my dress. Oh, you, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. You stole my dress. Is this what we really want to watch? And apparently it's rating through the roof. So, yes, apparently it is what people want to watch. It's baffling. And then, of course, we've got all the, all the, uh, uh, renovation programs. Let's build a wall. Let's, let's renovate a house. Let's tear the walls down. Then we've got cooking programs. Cooking programs. There's even a cooking channel where there's nothing but cooking which employs the two things the television can't provide, smell and taste. So now it's now simply an excuse for people to sit round a table and bitch and snipe and roll out the latest celebrity chef, who I've never heard of. I'm sure they're a celebrity in their own world, but, you know, celebrity presumably means you know who they are. But then we've got good old Nigella who talks about having glasses of wine with friends, has all the very best angles, then reaches in the cupboard for a packet of pasta and a tin of chickpeas. So clearly the presentation is much greater than the actual chefing on offer. And then we've got these terrible programs of people going through airports and being stopped in cars that have no value whatsoever. There is no entertainment value. There is no uh, educational value. They are simply warnings. You stay in line, people, or we will catch you. Look, 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 see what's going on. We will get you in the end. And now we've got this latest thing, these love things. What is it? Slut Island. Uh, you know, horse Horny at first sight, the farmer wants a whore, whatever it is, and people are flocking to see them. They're rating, they're top of the thing. What is this? Do we have 14-year-old schoolgirls sitting there tuning into all this nonsense? And it's pure rubbish. Good God, is this what we're getting? Someone once said a culture, uh, no, a society gets the culture it deserves. Well, God help us, because we're in trouble. Oh well, that's life as we know it. Until next time, keep your hand on it.